Question four, last question. My dorm is having a decorating contest. Do you have any good ideas? Mm. First of all, fun. if you're an RA and you're looking for programs for October, winner, winner, chicken dinner, um, dorms, it's true. Yeah, room dorm decorating or door decorating contests. Um, some people might even go all out and decorate their whole room, but mm -hmm. like just tell them at least the door yeah. is a good idea, and then just go around handing out candy. Like, and you can do that for cheap, kind of like the yeah. dollar store. Yeah, yeah for sure. You can get a lot of stuff for not that much money at the dollar store. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I got this at Halloween store. <laughs> <laughs> From the dollar store. Mine is the basket. Mine is the basket. All the, all the decorations. <laughs> dollar store. Dollar store is great, yeah. Essentially. So you got good ideas for... Yeah. Um, I actually am creating a video right now with a little sneak peek. That's um, DIY these. dorm decorations for Halloween, and oh, one of them so is a door decoration. So if you wait till the week of Halloween, yeah. here's your idea. <laughs> I got some really cute um, light things, you know, little pumpkins. And they're oh, battery yeah. operated, so they're fun. I have to put them up on my desk. I definitely think it's anything, safe. like you said, doing DIY stuff is always a good idea because, I mean, you can go to the dollar store and pick up anything, but then there's always the chance that someone else is also going to the dollar same store and picking yeah. up the same stuff. So making your own stuff is always yeah. a really good idea because you'll know, you know it'll be unique and different from other people's decorations. Yeah. If you just want to, like, decorate, like, don't really care about the contest, just want to, like, decorate for Halloween, yeah. just grab, like, some spider webs. Yeah. That stuff, she even just like rip it up and like place it in <laughs> random yeah. places. With, like, See, in my stuff. apartment, we don't do spiders. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like spiders. Yeah. But you can don't also get no. Look at his little bug eyes. I She's don't care. Of care. <laughs> He's sparkly. I almost broke my ankle again the other day trying to get away from a spider in yes. the patio. <laughs> oh. um, construction paper is super cheap. And yeah. And you can use that. There is a use for the white crayon, it is to draw on black paper to make that. I feel like another good idea no, is no. to <laughs> another good idea is to have like a really solid theme or like idea so everything's kind of cohesive. Because yeah. like it's fun to just like throw things all around, but like if you really wanted to go for like maybe winning the contest, yeah. having a really cohesive theme is a good yeah. idea because then someone walks in and is like, oh yeah. So like even if you wanted to model it after like your favorite Halloween movie, so yeah. like have like a Beetlejuice theme or Hocus Pocus or Halloween Town so that when people walk in they're like, oh yeah, this reminds me of that movie. Yeah. And it'll stand out a little bit. People do like that. Yeah, yeah theme stuff. Oh my gosh. I just <laughs> remembered. Remember sing for us. No. <laughs> I was very excited for a minute. She was so, going to all Sanderson like, sisters. What? I put a spell on you for a second. So, no, you don't want to hear me sing. No, I do because you, you're giving you know. me Sanderson sisters. That's how we need to have this last question. I really don't think so. Just, <laughs> um, so this was not for Halloween, but but my first night, my first weekend on duty as an RA my senior year, I had this resident who had been my resident the year before, and I had kind of like a rough dorm the year before. He was one of the good ones. He never spent time there. Whenever he was there, he was quiet. He didn't, he didn't break rules. <laughs> and I'm walking around, and we had these little pods, and I was walking out of one pod, and he was coming out of another with his friend who was also in the dorm, and they're laughing, and they look at me, and they just go, <gasps> and I was like, to fill up paperwork. I'm gonna have to fill up paperwork. And I look at them, I go, what did you do? And they looked at each other and they just burst out laughing. And I was like, there's so much paperwork. And they go, do you want to see what we did? And I was like, all right, that's uh, that's unusual. So I went and what they had done was it was early September, Halloween stuff was on sale. So they had gone. So they bought it all. They got <laughs> not even all of it. They got like cat toys and they, they pulled a prank on their roommate because he was out on a date and they were like, you better this, you better don't do this. So they put a skull, like a huge skull in his bed and made it look like it was wrapped up bigger than that. It was like the yours. size of a human head and a little bit bigger. And it was like, it looks like it was wrapped up, like curled up underneath the blankets. And then they like hid a bunch of stuff all around and kind of pulled a prank on him. But if you're clever like them, I it honestly looks like a person underneath the, the bed. really funny and kind it of was so cool. Yeah. It was really creepy because apparently he walked in and it was dark. Oh, <laughs> oh no. And it was his bed, but it was, it was brilliant. Um, didn't end up having to do paperwork, which is 
much. That's it's amazing. Hard. See, that's the kind of the, the kind of prank that I can get down with. Yeah. Like anything that is harmless, yeah. but very entertaining. Yeah. yeah. So use use your creativity and like yeah. put. Don't just limit it to your dorm door. Yeah. Use the use the whole thing. I mean, you can turn your dorm into like a little mini haunted mm-hmm. house and yeah. like spook someone when they come in to like mm-hmm. check out Flashing the different places for costume yeah. contacts. Yeah. Just leave your door open during the day. Yeah. Let yeah. people like walk by your haunted house. We, we did, did that actually. Um, yeah. One area did that. They did a haunted house. Um, Hallway. Yeah. No. 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 They did a whole. whole um, they had their common area. They turned their common area in the basement, like all the hallways, into a haunted house and invited everyone to come along. Um, it was really cool. I didn't go, but it was everyone <laughs> loved it. They should have just started charging people. $2. That's funny. Yeah. Um, that could be a fine idea, actually. Is if you, if you, especially if you have a lot of kids um, who, not kids, if you, if you and a lot of your friends in your dorm um, like Halloween, talk to your RA and see if maybe you, like your area can do haunted house or you can do like themes like trick-or-treating or oh, bring kids in yeah like kids come trick-or-treating like do yeah do a that'd community be cool. event. it would that'd have cool. it would have to be like a couple of days before halloween um probably or like in the midday on like a saturday mm-hmm. but that could be fun if you if you all decide to like um you know dress up your door and decorate and you miss being at home handing out candy yeah i, I did yeah. kind of miss handing out candy i gave out candy to my residents who dressed up that's the other thing too is definitely try to like tie in a costume to your decoration oh, yeah. theme is always a good thing and be creative i was just talking earlier with some other people in the office about how like when you get older you either you kind of just stop dressing up a lot of people do or if you do you don't get super creative with it you go with like really easy stuff like get weird and get creative because halloween is like the one time where you can still kind of act like a kid and just do whatever you want and like no one's going to judge you for it get creative or get one of the inflatable dinosaur (laughs) (laughs) well i just mean like someone has it i was listening i don't know where it is but i have it and you know what well worth it yes i made Half the office laugh. I oh, we were it. dying laughing. Yeah, year. I made our I heard the human resources laugh because I, w- I was outside. My boss was like, oh, you have to take a picture of me chasing you. Or oh, yeah, I did love take that. a video of you chasing me. And I was like, you of suggested course. it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was like, all right, I'm going to go walk by where everyone who's like the head of the company is. I'm just going to like, dump, dump. No, no. And I came back in and they're like, you had these stitches. <laughs> well, I, I also, I was, so I was a little off topic, but I was listening to another podcast the other day and um, this guy was talking about his son and like what his kids wanted to do for Halloween and like his daughter's like all going home about Stranger Things and she's <laughs> going to do a costume for that. But his son's like five or six years old and he was like, so what do you want to be for Halloween? And his son just goes, I want to be a washing machine. And his dad kind of turned it down because he's like, are you sure? Maybe we can do something different. But then later he on the podcast, he was like, I really regret it because I always want to encourage creativity. And like what other time in his life is he going to want to dress up as a washing machine? Oh, and that's what I'm saying is be that kind of creative. Go be a washing machine for Halloween. Yeah, how cute is that? We're a couple of Be a washing machine in a dryer. Come on. I like it. There you go. Be creative. That's the point. Be creative. Be as, as creative um, as possible. turned into, like, costume ideas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, even for the journey. For the they go ahead. dorm room, go, go yeah, get creative. Yeah, be as creative as possible. Yeah. Make make, put, a bunch of, put a bunch of haunted washing machines, and that'll be your theme. Where every washing machine you open, there's something scary in it. There you go. Oh, or just put something scary in the washing machine. There's no, a lot of scary things already in the washing machine at school. Yeah. <laughs> True. Put, like, a different rule on the front of each washing machine. I'm just saying, the more different it is, the more likely you're going to stand out, and then you might win the contest for something that's not traditionally spooky. Yeah, creativity gets points. Yep. Sure. Good luck. 